Hello, thank you for taking the time out to watch this DVD. My name's Jo and I'm one of a team of tenor nurses based all around the UK. We're here to offer advice, information and support on product use. We appreciate that caring for clients is not a 9 to 5 Monday to Friday job. So we've come up with this DVD so that you can watch it at your own time and convenience. We hope that you find this very beneficial and that we do answer some questions that you might have regarding our products. Within this DVD, we go through each product talking about sizes, fitting techniques and absorbency of each product. If your home is part of a group, you might have a standardised list of products that you are allowed to use on your resident. Please refer to this list when selecting products for resident use. I will now demonstrate how an incontinence product works. Your incontinence products will come in various sizes and styles, but the basic features will be the same. And I'll be using a Tenor Comfort Plus to demonstrate that. The first layer of every pad is made up of a hydrophobic substance. It's made up of tiny pores which lets the urine through very quickly and keeps the person's skin dry. The second layer is made up of pulp fibres. These pulp fibres have been specifically arranged to draw the urine downwards. And then the second layer of fibres, the fibres are elongated to both ends of the pad so that the urine is channelled from the middle up to either end of the pad. The last layer of the pad is made up of a waterproof backing. With some products, the waterproof backing will not be as crinkly as it is with the Tenor Comfort Plus, but I'll talk about those in a bit more detail at a later stage. These yellow lines on the waterproof backing are called wetness indicators and what they do is they turn blue as the pad absorbs urine. When this pad has reached its maximum working capacity, that yellow line there will turn blue all the way and the one at the bottom as well, bearing in mind that the urine hits the middle spot and works its way outwards. These are a guide and do not take away your discretion as a carer. They're a guide to indicate when that pad has reached its maximum working capacity. All the Tenor products have a droplet system to indicate absorbency levels. The more drops coloured in, the more a pad will absorb. In this case, the Tenor Comfort Plus has six drops coloured in, as opposed to a Tenor Comfort Normal that will have fewer drops coloured in. I will now demonstrate how the wetness indicators work. This is lukewarm water. Just pour it onto the product. As you can see, that line has turned from a prominent yellow colour to a blue-greeny colour. These wetness indicators, when completely turned colour, indicate that that pad has reached its maximum working capacity and needs to be changed. As mentioned earlier, the top hydrophobic sheet keeps the person's skin dry. The urine goes through the top sheet into the pulp fibres and the urine is prevented from coming out by the waterproof layer. I also talked about super absorbent powders that are scattered throughout the pad which lock the urine away from the person's skin. I'm now going to show you how super absorbent powders work. Super absorbent powders are scattered throughout the pulp fibres of the pad and they're a fine white granular powder. I'll pour some warm water into the powder. You can see how the powders are absorbing the urine, which locks it away from the person's skin. 
super absorbent powders hold 50 times their own weight in urine. What they do is they bind with the urine molecules and lock those, the urine away from air. Normal urine does not smell unpleasant. However, if it has been sitting for a while, it begins to have an offensive smell. This is because air comes in contact with the urine and forms ammonia. Superabsorbent powders stop that from happening because they bind with the urine so that the air can no longer bind. This is what provides odour control as ammonia is not formed. As you can see, the superabsorbent powders have changed texture and they continue to absorb the urine. I will now talk about the Light Incontinence range of products. We have five products in this range. The first two are gender specific. Tenor for men comes in two absorbency levels, level one and level two. These are anatomically shaped for men. These products are fitted on with the wide end towards the front and the tapered end towards the back of the resident. They also have sticky back plastics and they must be worn with tight fitting underwear. The next three products are called the Mini Comfort Range and they range from Mini Plus to Mini Super. The Mini Plus and the Mini Extra have the same concept of a sticky back plastic and they must be worn with tight fitting underwear. Both of these two products are textile backed. However, the Mini Super has a waterproof backing. Bear in mind that this product will hold 270 mils. So the Comfort Mini Super is able to hold quite a bit of urine. The next range of products are for moderate to heavy incontinence and they're called the Tenor Comfort range. They go from Tenor Comfort Normal, which is the peach coloured pad that absorbs greater than 350 mils. The Tenor Comfort Plus, which we looked at earlier, blue coloured, absorbs greater than 450 mils. The Tenor Comfort Extra, which is a yellow coloured pad and it absorbs greater than 600 mils. The Tenor Comfort Super which absorbs greater than 750 mils and the Tenor Comfort Maxi which absorbs great, greater than 900 mils. Tenor Comfort Maxi is the most absorbent in this range and the Tenor Comfort Normal is the least absorbent. The colours indicate absorbency and not size. These products should always be fitted with the Tenafix pants and they range in sizes from the extra small to the or orange coded which is the extra extra large. I will now demonstrate how to fit a comfort product on a resident. Pant sizes are appropriate for a resident depending on their waist size. To get the most appropriate pant size for your resident, you need to measure their waist size. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to be fitting a green one on myself over my uniform. I will also be fitting a comfort extra pad on myself. When you take the pads out of their packets, always fold them in half. What this does is it creates a bowl shape by activating the elastics that you can see going around the middle section of the pad. That ensures that this pad is fitted properly on the resident. Ideally, get your net knickers above the resident's knees, 
fold it back on itself so that you've got a working platform to work with. Where it is possible, always fit that pad from the front towards the back. This prevents bacteria being passed from the perineal area towards the groin. And then you can pull your pants up. These neck pants are not designed as French knickers. Always make sure that you pull the leg cuffs up into the groin to ensure that you get a snug fit. The seams should also always be fitted on the outside so that it reduces red marking on the skin as well as the leg cuffs being pulled up into the groin so that it reduces red marks on the skin. Net pants are designed to be reused and laundered. They can be washed 35 times at 70 degrees. However, do not tumble dry them because this reduces their elasticity. Check with your infection control policy and your laundering policy. Within the tennis slip range, there are three absorbencies. There's the plus absorbency, which absorbs 600 mils, the super absorbency, which absorbs greater than 800 mils, and the maxi absorbency, which absorbs greater than 1,000 mils. We also have the tennis slip extra small product, which absorbs greater than 450 mils. The added features to this product are curved leg elastics which provide a snug fit for the user and standing gathers which provide a bit more security for the user. The colours indicate the absorbency as I mentioned earlier and they also have the droplet system to identify their absorption levels. The wetness indicators on the slip products run all the way down the middle of the product. So when the urine hits the middle spot there, that line will gradually turn colour, working its way from the middle to both ends of the product. Just to talk a bit more about the droplet systems, this is a slip plus medium product and this is a slip super medium product. Both of them are medium sizes as indicated by that circle that shows the size of the product. However, when you look at the droplet system there, the plus has six drops coloured in and the super has seven drops coloured in. So even though they're both the same size, the super absorbs more than the plus because it has more drops coloured in than the plus. This is how the slip product should look once it has been fitted onto the resident. I will just be demonstrating now how to get a, a snug fit so that you have a comfortable fit within the groin. This is how the slip product should look once it has been fitted onto the resident. I'll just show you a few tips so that you get a comfortable snug fit within the groin. The shiny zone on top of the product is called the landing zone and what it does it allows for the tape to be positioned and readjusted as needed. To get a snug fit, ideally aim the bottom tape upwards and the top tape slightly downwards. Another great feature of the tennis slip product is the elasticated bit at the back that fits into the arc of the back and prevents leakage when a resident is lying down. Tenor pants come in three absorbencies. There's the discrete absorbency, which absorbs greater than 300 mils and comes in two sizes, medium and large. 
These are plain white with no coloured bands on the top. Tenor Pants Plus comes in five sizes from extra small to extra large. Tenor Pants Super have a green banding and come in three sizes, small, medium and large. These products are very easy to use as they're like normal underwear and it's literally just a case of pulling up and pulling down. Absorbencies are identified by coloured bands. The plus comes in the blue and the super in the green. The sticky tab behind identifies the size of the product but as well as doing that, once this product has been used, it's used to discard. If you pull the tape roll the product up and secure it's easy to dispose of. The great benefits of tenor pants as I earlier said is the ease of use. They're very good for patients with dementia and confusion who would inappropriately discard the two-piece products or pull out the flex and the slip products. Because the patients think that they're in their own normal underwear it has been shown in a lot of instances to reduce wastage. They're also good for stroke rehab patients as there's less fiddling with the tenor pants as opposed to the two-piece system. They're also 100% breathable as with the Flex product. So what they do is they let the heat and the vapour out of the person's body but they prevent the air from co coming back in. Tenor pants are fitted with the size indicator to the back of the patient. I won't be demonstrating this because, because of the ease of fitting, all you have to do is pull up and pull down. So where you've got the coloured banding, that will be towards the back of the patient. When a product has been used, all you have to do is pull the sticky tab down, roll the product over on itself, Use the sticky tab to secure and discard appropriately. When a product has been fitted onto a resident, if there has been a bowel movement and the product needs to be changed, rather than pulling the product all the way down to the resident's ankles, you can actually tear at the sides. The next products I'm going to talk about are the Teneflex products. We've got three absorbency ranges in this product. There's the Teneflex Plus, which absorbs greater than 600 mils. The Teneflex Super, which absorbs greater than 800 mils. And the Teneflex Maxi, which absorbs greater than 1000 mils. As with the slip, they come in different sizes as you can see indicated by the round circle. So for this example we've got a Teneflex Super and this is a medium size and a Teneflex Super which is a large size. They both absorb the same amounts because they're both Teneflex Super and it's reflective on the droplet system as well. They've got the same number of drops coloured in on the medium and on the large. When assessing a patient for a product you always look at how much urine leakage you want to contain first before you look at the sizing. I'll actually fit a Teneflex super large on myself now over my uniform and I'll talk through the benefits of the product as I fit it on. When you take the product out of the packet all you need to do is open it up. As you can see there's also a belt on the product. This belt is 100% breathable as well as the rest of the product including the back sheet. It is waterproof but the waterproof has been treated so that the urine can't escape from the person from the product. 
What it does is it lets heat and vapour out of the body, but it doesn't let air in. It's a one-way system. As with the slip, you've got a yellow line going down the middle of the product, which is the wetness indicator. You've also got the droplet system and the sizes, as I mentioned earlier. To get the correct measurement for this product, you actually measure the person's hips, as you do with the slip. Fold the product in half so that you're getting a bowl shape as you would with a slip. Even though you measure a person's hips to fit this product, you can either fit it on the waist, on the hips, or anywhere in between. It would depend on your client's body structure. You've got some blue tabs there, they're called the hook, hook in line system. And what you do is you adhere the top sheet to the bottom sheet and give it a bit of a rub so that all the hooks are activated to secure the fit. Rather than dragging the product through so you're not passing bacteria from the perineum to the groin, pull down and pull up. You've got two more blue tabs here which are the same hook in line system as you had earlier. You secure them on the belt and give them a rub as well. One of the great benefits of this product is ease of fitting. It has been proven that using a Tenaflex as opposed to using a two-piece system or the slip reduces bend and rotation of the carer's back by up to 30%. This is one of the leading causes of absence from the workplace within NHS institutions and care homes. What it also means is if that person needed toileting, you can always pass it round, hook it on the side, let the person use the toilet, pass it back round. And secure. Another added benefit of the Tenor Flex is, as you can see, my hips are exposed, my abdomen is exposed, so I'm a lot more comfortable. Think about this when you are fitting products on your residence. How comfortable are they in their products? What I'm going to do now is actually take this off and compare it to the Tenor Comfort Super. They both absorb the same amounts and it's just for us to look at the sizing. As you can see, that's a Tenor Comfort Super and that's a Flex Super in the large size. Another great benefit of Tenor Flex is that you have no need for the net pants which will reduce your costs overall. Your DVD comes with three pairs of these demonstration gloves. These gloves are made from the waterproof backing of the Tenor Comfort and Slick product and this one is made from the waterproof backing of the Flex product. What I'd like someone to do now is actually to fit these gloves on just like I'm doing. Keep them on for about five minutes and then explain to the other members of staff how each hand feels in your own words. As a tenor nurse advisor, I'm commonly asked questions regarding the products. What I'm going to do now is just work through some hints and tips to answer those questions. Pads should always be stored at room temperature, in a cupboard or a drawer, and never out of their packets. The reasoning behind this is that pads not only absorb urine, but they also absorb moisture in the atmosphere. I once kept a pad in a bathroom for a week, and the wetness indicators on that pad had actually changed colour even though it had not been used. So always store the pads in their original packets in a drawer or a cupboard at room temperature. As I demonstrated earlier when I was pouring water in the Comfort Plus and I showed you the hydrophobic sheet, 
That sheet is made up of very tiny pores. Oily creams and talcum powder clog these pores. Ideally, oily creams should not be used unless prescribed. If, however, you do need to use oily creams, use them sparingly. For skin rashes, what we recommend is that you use water-based creams. Check with your local clinical lead to determine which cream will be most appropriate for the person. Products should not leak. There are various reasons why a product might leak and as I mentioned earlier, the storage of the products would be one of those reasons. So make sure that they are stored at room temperature in their original packets. Also watch out for the kind of creams you're using. Oily creams will clog the pad so that the urine is not absorbed and it trickles off the top sheet. Check that the resident has the correct size of pads or pants depending on either their hip size for the pads and their waist size for the pants. If you have the correct size, you shouldn't experience leakage. Also check that the fit is tight within the groin. A lot of leakage actually occurs in the groin. If you have a snug fit in the resident's groin, then you shouldn't have any leakage. If the wetness indicators on the pad have completely changed, you might want to think about going up an absorbency or changing the product more frequently to avoid leakage. Another common, common thing we come across is where the net knickers have been cut by the sides to ensure a better fit. This will actually cause more leakage. With dementia patients, we have found out that using tenor pants reduces wastage as opposed to using the two-piece system. This is purely because people with dementia feel that they are wearing their own underwear and so they don't discard inappropriately. For someone that has had a stroke, the rehab process can be hampered by the kind of incontinence products that they are using. By using tenor pants, it is easier for the residents to actually pull up and pull down and toilet themselves. We have found pants to be very beneficial for these kind of clients. Costs are not always on the forefront of our minds as carers, but when it comes to reassessing a patient, I'd like you to consider that the larger the size of a product and the more absorbent a product, the more money it's actually costing your home. A typical scenario would be where someone is faecally incontinent. If, say for example, they were in a tenor comfort super and it was purely just to contain the faeces and throw the product away, I would recommend that you put them in a tenor comfort normal. Maxi products are the higher, highest absorbency that tenor produce. Considering that the average bladder of someone in your care home will hold about 300 mils before it is emptied, a maxi product actually holds over a litre of urine. Now this will equate to about three bladderfuls. You might want to consider putting that resident in a product with a lower absorbency. It will be a lot more comfortable for the person as the lower absorbent products are less bulky and it will also help with costs. Bed pads should not be used to manage incontinence. Because they don't have large amounts of superabsorbent powders, they're not actually able to hold and lock away urine as an, an incontinence pad would. We don't advocate them. However, for people that are being cared for palliatively, bed pads can be used. We're frequently asked about double padding. This is where you take a smaller product and insert it into a larger product. We don't advocate this purely because the smaller product has a waterproof backing and so when there is urine loss, it actually doesn't go through into the larger product. You also need to consider comfort to your patient and the cost implications of double padding. 
There is no such thing as a night pad or a day pad. When assessing the resident, you need to take into consideration how much containment you're needing during the night and during the day. This will vary from person to person. Someone may leak a bit more at night and less during the day, or it could be vice versa, that someone leaks more during the day and less at night. So you'd match the client's needs to the appropriate product. We would generally advise that products are not turned around because of the pulp distribution. However, we have come across a few cases where Tenaflex has been turned around. Because of the distribution of pulp in the Tenaflex, it, you can actually turn the product around so that the product can be fitted this way. Thank you very much for taking the time out to watch this DVD. We hope you have found everything that we have discussed useful. If you would like more advice or more information, there are a range of tools that we can provide to your home. Speak to your local tenor representative or call the tenor advice line, details of which can be found on the cover of the DVD.